A very good morning from the sports desk. 18,000 runners have hit the streets of Guazulu Natal. They are running from Peter Maritzburg down to Durban in the 96th edition of the Comrades Marathon. The iconic gun was fired at 5.30 this morning at the Peter Maritzburg City Hall. ENCA sports reporter Sipogazi Malinga saw the runners off at the start line and joins us live now. Sipogazi, good morning to you. I mean, obviously, this has been something that we've been building up to for a couple of months. Excitement has been a lot. And you watched as 18,000 runners got on the go hitting the streets of Guazul Natal as they head over to Kingsmead Cricket Stadium. I mean, just talk to us about the looks on their faces when they got away. A very good morning to you, Morena. Yes, we are at the start here in Peter Maritzburg for the 96th edition of the Comrades Marathon. Um, as you know as well, numbers have increased this year compared to last year's numbers. I think they've gotten about 4,000 more entries and 400 um, 400 participants from Japan as well decided to come um, participate in this race. So you asked me about their faces this morning. It's pretty freezing here in Marysburg, but despite that, they had smiles on their face. They were excited, jumping up and down. I just think for them, they couldn't wait to get on and uh, to get on with their race, especially after so much hard work um, that they've put in over um, the couple of years, a couple of months that they've been training for. So for them, it was really exciting and it just they couldn't wait to hear that gun go off as they make their way to the next stop, which is Polishot. Spokazi, the Comrades Marathon for a lot of people is an opportunity for them to test themselves, an opportunity to tick something off of the bucket list. You know, some, some people are saying that, you know what, I can, I can never leave this earth having never run 90 kilometers. Well, in this particular case, the 96th edition is 87 kilometers. But there are those who are chasing that prize money of half a million rands. And I think I heard Rowan James, the race organizer, saying that if you are South African and if you beat the record of the down run, you are in line to win 1.2 million rand. So there are those who are chasing a prize. Who are we expecting to be the favorites to win this year's race, men's and women's? I want to start with the women's race, Morena. We do have Khalda Stein, who's back this year. We know that she missed um, last year's marathon because she was focusing on the Boston Marathon. Um, so she is back this year. She did two oceans, which she won. And she's also um, the current uh, um, upper run record holder um, at Comrades Marathon. And, you know, when we spoke to her a little bit later, earlier during the week, she had said that the media is going nuts about how if she'll be able to break um, the down run record again this time as she is the favorite um, but she says um, for her it's not always about breaking a record it's about just um, enjoying the race it's about also just to see how her how far her preparations have come so Gerda Stein is definitely one to look out for um, last year's defending champion last year's winner rather Alexandra Marazova from Russia is also going to be a huge competition for Gerda Stein um, as you know that um, Converse Marathon is celebrating its 100th year Gerda Stein was saying it would be nice um, for South Africans, it would be nice for her, it would be nice for the Comrades Marathon as well to have her as a winner of the Comrades Marathon. And moving on to the main, we can't um, you know, forget Tete uh, De Dijane's um, race last year. He did a fantastic job there coming in first, but he does have a lot of competition as well. There is Umbong Musam Tembu, there is Edward Mativi, there is Unkoskona Mklokwana as well. So in the men's Morena, there really is a healthy competition there. I mean, if you look at last year's top 10 in the men's, they were all South African. So it's going to be a tough one. And when, when we spoke to Dede, he did say as well that, you know, last year people didn't know him. The runners that he was running with didn't know him. But this year, they're probably going to be sassing him out, out and seeing what his um, weaknesses are. But for him as well, it's just to try and focus on his race and do the best that he can. Yesterday, you attended a press conference, uh, Spogazi, that involved the police, police commissioner, Fanima Simula, where he was essentially saying, go forth and conquer to his officials. How many South African police service officials are actually competing in this Comrades Marathon? 
there's about 200 uh, police officer, officers competing in this marathon. If I'm correct, I think it's a 170 men and 30 women competing in this marathon. And, uh, you know, the commissioner did say as soon as they get to uh, Kingsmead Stadium, they will be welcomed by the commissioner himself. And obviously they will have a little surprise for them just for running this Comrades Marathon and representing the SAPS. Now, I mean, obviously you're talking about how there is a, a, whole, a whole lot of international runners as well. Japanese runners are in there. You mentioned Alexandra Morozova, um, who was at the center of some controversy last year uh, where Russian athletes were seemingly being put aside of the Comrades Marathon. They did eventually manage to win and get involved. Do we know if we have some Russian athletes uh, competing in this year's race? Um, as far as I know, uh, Morena, it's only Alexandra Morozova who's back again this year. Um, also speaking to her earlier during the, press, the press, press conference during the week, she had said she loves this race. She's done it so many times. She's won it four times. So for her to come back, um, it's something that she enjoys and it's not something that uh, she'll stop doing at any time. Maybe until she's old, that's when she'll stop. But for now, she really does enjoy doing it and she's going to continue doing it. Another person I spoke to was our colleague, uh, Enis uh, sports um, presenter um, Peter Johan and he was just saying that you know he, it's his fourth one this year and it was a kid, I asked him what keeps him coming back to the Comrades Marathon he says you know no matter what you're going through in life there's always that moment where you just feel like you need to achieve something bigger and for him he says he, well, he didn't plan to go on to four but it mm. just so happened and it's that, mean, it's that feeling at the end of the race that I've achieved something bigger than I, 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 I never thought I would have been able to achieve so I think most of the athletes come back because of that reason they keep coming back to get that feeling that they've been yearning for that they've been missing you know I, I hear a lot about that um, you know we have our former colleague as well Tula Sizo Similan who would say that you you go in into one marathon and you just never look back you will keep going over and over again Sipogazi we are now heading over to 20 minutes before seven o'clock this morning they did start at 5 30 um, when can we expect the elite runners, your Herda Stains, your Bong Musam Temu, Tedijana, to be coming in? Morena, if you remember in 2019, Helda Stain broke the record for becoming the first woman to finish five hours under. I mean, I beg your pardon, six, under, six hours under. So we're expecting them to come in around five hours, around two o'clock, I'd say, in the afternoon. Well, that is uh, incredible. We're hoping that uh, records will be broken. We're hoping that a South African can actually break that record and walk away with the 1.2 million rand check.